Earlier today, you said that this fight was about your legacy. What did you mean by that? I've been fighting for so long. I knocked out the top of the top of the heavyweight division. But now, now it's a time that I want something that's more than just winning fights or writing history, you know? Like I said, I want eternal glory. I want people to talk about me even when I'm gone. And I think this is one of those fights. So going back to your first fight with him, how was that fight going for you before the injury? It was, it, it was going well. It was going a good fight. I was feeling him out. Mm -hmm. I was winning the round. It was most important. You try to win every round, so this is the most important thing. That's what we did, but it doesn't matter how it went because it has nothing to do with our next fight. Our next fight will be totally different. Different butter, different mindset. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a war. Now you're a, a family guy. We see videos of you with your family. Do you feel like you've kind of slowed down your life a little bit? You're not the, the wild, crazy botter people loved? They should test me. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with being a family man. You know, your family comes first. Children are reported. So it has nothing to do with slowing down. It's just making your priorities. Mm -hmm. So my children are my priorities. Maybe my number one priorities. But then you think about, hey, I'm making a living with fighting. So it's connected to each other. Yeah. So fighting, being a beast, being an animal, is connected to being a family man. This is what makes me earn a living for my family. So that makes me more dangerous, mm -hmm. more motivated. So the connections between an animal and a family man, it's nothing. The line is very thin. Used to, you seem to carry yourself with more anger. Now you're much more relaxed. Do you need that anger inside you to, to get those knockouts set? No, seen? because I'm just more confident. I know I can knock people out. It's just, do I want to knock them out? You know, is it the time? Did I train well? Am I focused enough? You know, anger is anger. When you step into the ring, you're an angry man. I'm an angry man when I step in the ring. I'm, I'm coming to beat people up. And I think I'm in the best shape of my life now. I have a good weight. I feel very balanced. I'm fast. I'm very accurate. So, yeah, I will knock him out somewhere. Why are you so confident that you can do something that no one else in glory has been able to do? Knock this guy out. He hasn't lost in seven years. Yeah. But you don't seem impressed by him. How can you not be impressed by no. what he's done? Man, you know, I fought a lot of tough guys. You know, I fought Sammy Shield. He's like the father of all fathers. He's like yeah. unbeatable. This guy is amazing. I think he played with Rico. You know, this guy was the guy. I knocked him out in a minute. I've been to big guys. I've seen strong guys. Yeah. I fought Alistair Overeem. This guy is amazing. So strong. I knocked him out. You know, I fought Peter Arts. Strong. I knocked him out. I fought Ray Sefo. This guy is amazing. This guy is a legend as a chin of steel. I knocked him out. How can you tell me if I knock so many people out that this guy will impress me because he wins seven years, let's say 15 fights on points? It doesn't impress me. You heard Rico in the press conference basically label you as a quitter. Said you quit your, or your first fight and you'll quit again. How does that make you feel when you hear that? Oh, let him say what you want to say. If, if that makes him feel good, he goes home later on, he's going to go to sleep. He's ah, oh, nice, I said it. I'm happy for him. We'll see, 21 December. When I win, a lot of things will change in the heavyweight division. Six more fights, this is one of six. So whatever they bring, you know, I'm here to, to grow. You know, I'm here to, what I said, to create a legacy, not only for me, but also for glory, you know. We're here together, so let's show them that we have the most wonderful sport in the world, and that's kickboxing. If you could look into the camera and address him, yeah. right now, if he was sitting right there, what would you say to him? Yeah, go yourself.